Uh, okay, uh, so we are now, we're recording the lecture and um, we're gonna start off with, uh, so again, uh, I'm sad that not all of you guys are here, uh, but uh, luckily this is being recorded, recorded, so those of you that show up later, you have an opportunity to, to review the lecture. So today's lecture is short, it's not, very, it's not very long. And this is the last part, the last lecture that we have for the series, for this course. And uh, so this part goes on, on taking notes. So again, throughout the, the semester, I, I, I told you guys that, uh, you know, one of the most important aspects in medicine is, uh, is documentation. You have to write everything down, right? Whatever you do, you have to write it down. Whatever you're thinking of doing, you have to write it down. Uh, tests that you've ordered, you have to write it down. So uh, the rule in medicine is this. If you didn't write it down, it didn't happen. Or if you didn't write it down, then you're trying to cover up something. So, you know, with that said, uh, the importance of, of proper documentation, uh, it, it's paramount for all healthcare professionals, including physical therapists. Okay, so when you first see a physician, Again, you're doing your initial evaluation, the IE. Uh, so in this, first of all, this is a general, and this will be the most comprehensive document that you will have as a physical therapist. It's that like initial evaluation that you do because you do everything. Uh, subsequently, again, you're gonna be doing evaluations, but it's not gonna be as in depth. Um, so, Every, as I said, every other time you see the patients, you're gonna be documenting also, and you're gonna be doing examinations, but those are going to be a uh, part of the, the patient's uh, uh, progress notes or patient's, uh, uh, patient's notes that you do. They're not part of the initial uh, examination, the initial evaluation. Um, so again, the, the physical therapy documentation, it's, again, I, it's gonna be more or less nearly the same as that initial evaluation, how, the, the form that it's gonna be in. However, the information that, uh, that's in there will not, uh, it will be slightly different. The format will be more or less, uh, the format will end up being the same. So uh, this documentation ends up being issued, uh, the discharge note, okay, or the discontinuation summary. Uh, this ends up being uh, given when the patient is discharged, okay, or again, when you seize uh, rendering services to the patient. So again, uh, this could be in, uh, this could take place at a private physical therapist office at a clinic, or it could also be part of an inpatient hospitalization. So what needs to be included uh, in the, the, the discharge, physical therapy discharge summary? What the goals are, right? what the, uh, they should be doing afterwards, and also what the functional status is. So these three things, they should be part of the discharge summary. However, there could be additional information uh, as well. So what they're trying to tell you is that these three things, the functional status, goals, and post-discharge, it should be the minimum that should be included, All right? The, the plan is gonna be the final section of the physical therapist's notes, the plan. Uh, so over here you see, this is essentially what uh, most of healthcare documentation ends up being uh, as. So we, you know, we call these the SOAP notes. So SOAP notes, essentially this acronym SOAP, S-O-A-P, it stands for Subjective, Objective, uh, Assessment, and, and Plan. These are the, informations, uh, the information that, that ends up being included. Uh, aside from that, the other information that you see over here will be the goals. And uh, the goals, can some, whoever has their microphone off, can you please close your microphone? It's kind of annoying to hear that thumping going on. Thank you. Well, maybe not. I still hear it. All of you, somebody, somebody has their, their microphone on. Please shut it off. All right, so uh, yeah, goals. So again, patient, so what are, what's the goal over here in this, in this example that you see? 
A uh, patient will demonstrate a productive cough in the seated position. Um, patient will ambulate 150 feet with supervision without assistive de uh, devices on a level surface, meaning no incline or decline uh, in an indoor surface. Uh, so, and then we go on to the soap part. So again, put your goals, what the goals are, it's pretty obvious, and then soap. So again, soap, subjective. So what do you put down over here? In the, so, in the subjective part, it's going to be what the, pa the patient uh, or family members tell you, okay? So perhaps it's like, oh, my arm feels stiff. So how does it functionally affect them at home or in the community? So you want to bring in the functional component into the subjective. What kind of activity is it easier to perform? What kind of activity is, is it more difficult to perform? What causes... What movements do they do that makes it feel better? What movements do they do that makes it hurt mo more? Again, these are all subjective information. Remember, subjective information, they will vary from person to person, and it's not measurable. These are immeasurable. Objective information, again, these are measurable changes. So objective information, all measurements, so all your vital signs, blood pressure, pulse, uh, respiration rate, body temperature, these are all uh, objective uh, measurements. Treatment is also objective. Procedure, exercise, all these would be objective. Uh, again, in this objective information, make sure you're specific uh, and make sure you include repetitions, uh, resistance, and the assistance, equipment, direction. All these things, they should be included. Moving along to the assessment part, an assessment, again, what skills you provided and why, what makes you important? What is your goal as a physical therapist? Why are you needed? Okay, and what did you do? What skills did you provide? That's assessment. Uh, you want to comment, uh, comment on impairments that you identified in your session. Response or, or changes you may have noted uh, with your correction that you did. And how you advance the patient in, 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 uh, in achieving their goal. The next part would be the plan, right? What are the next steps with that patient? Is somebody else seeing them? What should you know? Or what should the other person that's going to be seeing the patient know? Uh, you want to also write out, again, uh, one or two helpful sentence, um, one or two helpful, one or two sentences that's going to help show the, the, the plan to progress for that patient. So for example, you can put down uh, try a single leg dynamic balance task on a soft pad. I don't know, I'm just making it up, right? So that's something that you would want to include. That's what you would include. So this is just one form, one way of a soap note uh, that would be. It could be in other formats as well, but again, the information that I mentioned will be universal in that. You have goals, and then again, you go with the subjective, objective, uh, assessment, and the plan. So again, here's another example. Of, let's just kind of go back over here to, to that one that we had over here. What was it over here? So subjective, patient reports not feeling well today. Huh? I'm very tired. Objective, all right, so what happens? Uh, upon oscillation, oscillation, remember what you're doing? You're listening. So what do you find? Lung fields, all right, scattered bronchi uh, in the lung fields. Uh, chest, uh, the the uh, chest was per, um, chest PT was performed in a sitting anterior and posterior. Technique included percussion, vibration, uh, and shaking. Patient performed a weak combined abdominal and upper uh, costal cough that was non bronchospastic, uh, congested and non productive. The cough cough was performed with VC. Uh, pectoral stretch thoracic. So you guys get it. All this is what objective and things that are, are, are measured. Okay, these are what's included over here. Um, the cough, cough was performed with VC. Pectoral stretch thoracic cage mobilization performed in seated position. Patient given towel, roll placed in back of seat to open up anterior chest wall. Strengthening exercises in standing. Patient performed hip flexion, extension, and abduction. Knee flexion, 10 reps, uh, one set. Uh, patient performs HEP with supervision. Patient instructed to hold tissue over uh, 
when speaking to um, over the trachea to, to prevent infection, it's the importance of drinking enough water. Right? So that was all assessment. I'm sorry, objective. Now assessment, the patient continues to pre present with congestion and limitations in coughing productivity. The patient has been compliant with e evening exercise program, which has results in increased uh, to th uh, therapeutic exercise regimen uh, regime and an increase in LE strength, lower extremity strength. Um, what else is there? Uh, amb uh, ambulation not attempted to 20 to patient, report of fatigue. Patient should be able to tolerate short distance ambulation with the next few days. So this is the assessment. Now, the last part of the plan, continue current exercise plan, including CBT, emphasize productive cough techniques, increase strength, strengthening exercises, reps to 15. This is what the plan, this is what I'm gonna be doing, or if I'm gonna send the patient out to somebody, this is what they should be doing, okay? Here's another example again, SOAP. Okay, so what do you have? Subjective, objective, assessment plan. So subjective information, now they put down over here, medical history, medical condition, asthma, medications, albuterol, allergies, none, uh, past surgical history, ear laceration, 2009, social history, tobacco. Uh, we have a smoker and uh, this person drinks alcohol, right? Then you go on to the objective. Again, they have your um, blood pressure, temperature, uh, heart rate, and then you go over the clinical exam, what the findings are. No symmetry, no swelling, no asymmetry, no swelling. Patient points <clears throat> to exactly. <clears throat> Interoral, again, there's swelling, erythema, that's listed here. And then the ass assessment, when you go down, again, you have uh, asthma, uh, asthma, that's exercise induced. Again, you have a smoker that's in front of you. Um, <clears throat> and then you got the plan that's listed over here, all right? So this is another exa example. The last one, not another example over here. This one, look, there's even drawings over here that's shown. So we have the patient's name over here. Um, I'm sorry, uh, this is the, the, the provider's name over here. And then the, 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 the patient's name is over here. Um, and again, so SOAP, so what do you have? Subject information, client focus, decreased pain in mid lower back. Uh, current meds, they take pain medication, hydrocod uh, hydrocodone. Then now you go over the symptoms, right? So remember, uh, symptoms, moderate pain, mid back, moderate headache occurring three times a day, lasting a uh, half hour. Okay, ADLs are listed here as well. All right, now this includes ADLs. The other ones, they didn't have the ADLs listed over here. Comments, rest and heat, make the pain go away. All this is subject information. Now we move on to the objective. Primary weight bearing, rising and, and standing, right leg and foot, right? Um, this is visual observation, okay? Palp hip, uh, palpation, when they're, again, when you're feeling, when you're touching, what do you observe? So uh, erector spinae group, transverse, uh, transverse spinalis group, there's what? Symptoms are adhesion for erector spinae, hypertension for trans transversal spinalis. Um, <clears throat> locomotion bilateral, severity moderate, severe. Uh, also over here in this picture, they have things that, are, that, they draw, and that they've drawn out. So if you look over here, um, these are all uh, a legend for what they can describe over here. So there's inflammation here. These are tender points that are listed over here. Uh, these are trigger points that they have listed over here. And now they're showing again the, the axis where the pain is, by showing that. And they're just showing the elevations over here. As you move along to assessment, long-term goals, Client will be able to lift up to uh, 40 pounds three times uh, an hour, Monday through Friday, with no more than mild pain uh, within 60 days. Short term goals, clients will be able to lift 10 pounds 10 times a day uh, with no more than mild pain within two weeks, 14 days. Now, what's the plan? All right, so now he's put down over here, drainage focus on the back, right? 
once a week uh, for two months. The 160, 160 minute sessions to decrease adhesions that's present. Homework, okay, and self care. Continue to hot pack. You want to, he wants you, uh, the, the patient to apply uh, to warm compresses 10 minutes twice a day, uh, avoiding heat in, on neck and, and low back. And then uh, intricate deep, again, breathing exercises 10 minutes. That's what he wants done. Right? And then private root sign, and then you date this. All right, so that is all. Um, again, as I told you, nothing very big, nothing very long um, <clears throat> for the lecture. Uh, let's go back over here, and now we can do Q&A. Uh, so let me stop sharing. Open this, stop recording.